Okay. I think I hear someone, Truth. Okay. I think it's it's the camera. I can hear them. They're watching us. Oh, that, that's how that, they get in there. I'm not sure. I think. I'm not sure. Are okay. you here to help, guys? Maybe maybe they still need help from us. Oh, maybe. Okay. Well, as you can tell, it didn't go too well. No, my particular mission went a bit more pear shaped than it was before. So I think yours probably. It did. Well, when we went to help M, she was actually bait, and we took it like a really hungry fish. Yeah. So now we're captured. But, but it's we... fine, we'll still teach you a video. Yeah, so... we still managed to get some things on the board, I think. Yeah, so true, if you lean forward and I lean forward. Oh, yeah. okay, Behind so... us we have y equals mx plus c, as you can see. Well, yeah. What's that true? Well, that's a line equation, as we mentioned before, but not only do you have to sometimes solve it, sometimes you actually have to do stuff about what the line actually means. And y and m and x and c all have a meaning, don't they, Wayne? They do, so sometimes you don't have to solve to find x at all. In this case, m is the number before x, is the gradient of the straight line, and that can be useful it can. for finding out how much it's increasing by. Yeah, for example, um, if it was positive, it'd be going up, and negative would be going from the top to the bottom. Now, the last bit, the plus c, is always just a plus or a minus number. Yeah. It's just a number, and that's when it goes through the y-axis. Now, how do you work out m? Well, you can work out m a number of ways. If you had a coordinate on the line, you have a y and x number, mm. and you have c, you can have c as well. You can use all these things to do that. But there's another way to do it as well. My hand's free. I'll free you. Oh, oh that's good because annotating at this point would be helpful. Oh, oh. oh. shit. Okay, so you could work it out with the rest of the information. Oh, it's really bright in here. It is. I know. I took mine off. I'll do that. Okay, so you can use it with information, but. You can do something called change in y over the change in x. Now this is best explained with a graph. It so is. if we have an, a line, it's always a straight line y equals mx plus c, like that. And mm -hmm. you're told that the point normally called p or q is at, say, 5, 7. And here, the point where it goes through here is, say, 2. It goes through the y axis at 2. Work out the equation of the straight line. So, hang on, guys, hang on. I just need to adjust you. Oh, it's there. Yeah. It's a really clever place to put the camera. Right, okay. So we have this. This is the point P57. This is the point 2. It goes through. You've been told this much information. Yeah. Work out the equation of the line. So, let's do that. Okay, so we, we actually have more than it looks. Like, we have. 2, which is our y-intercept. So we have c. So we know that y equals something, but then at the end it's going to be plus 2. This plus Absolutely. c bit is plus 2, that's where it goes to the y-axis. Also we know that that's not just 2, it's 0, 2 as a coordinate. Yes, you should know that the first coordinate is x and the second coordinate is y. Absolutely. When it goes through here, x is obviously 0, so as Truth said, this is actually 0, 2. Using this, we can use our equation to work out the gradient. So this special triangle, it's delta. Delta. It means the change in. So the difference in our y value is just from seven to two is five. It's five. That's five units. It's gone up if you divide yeah. it into a triangle. So you can have up from seven two to seven minus two over the difference in our x, which is five. Because it's just five minus zero, which is not zero to five. This is five units across. This is five units up. Absolutely. So it becomes 5 over 5, which is 1, which is 1, and that's our gradient, which is quite a nice gradient. Yes. Which means our n is 1, which means it's just x. Yes. So that means we actually know everything. So we have y equals x plus 2, and that's the equation. Now to take it a step further, about as hard as it's going to get, we've rub out how we worked it out here. Sure. Um, we've got this equation. Now, if we were told... A point here, say, and we knew the x, this might be called q, the x coordinate was 2, what is the y coordinate at this point? We now have enough information to work out what y is at that point. We do, because now we can just sort of put this in the equation. We know x is 2 at this point, so we have y equals our x coordinate 2 plus 2, because that stays the same regardless. So that means y must be 
four at that particular point. So then we can do that, and it's all about knowing what they mean. Yes. So M is the gradient, C is the y-intercept, and when you put it in its form, you need x is x. So it's y equals a number of x plus a number. Yeah. And uh, I think is that all the equation stuff? I think it is. I, I think, think it's time to get out of here, Wayne. I think it is, and um, I think we should find out where the real M is. I think we should. And then we should get on with the uh, and the salts and the oh yeah and the, and the peppers and the M and M's. Love it.